Okay, so I was called on the radio and they said that we have a main engine slow down. So we need to check out what is the main reason. So guys, we have a slow down alarm. I need to check or I need to help them what is the main cause of the problem. Our main loop oil pump just tripped and that's the main cause of our um, slowdown. So the first thing I did is to visually check what is happening into the control panel. I check the overload current relay, the condition of each terminal if there is a sign of any burns or any abnormalities. And then I reset the EOCR and move to the troubleshooting. In this condition, I do not want to test again the motor since this is a really big motor and I do not want to burn it. So I have decided to go down and check the condition of the terminals of our motor. So we have two main loop oil pump and this one is having a problem. I will check the windings line to line, line to ground if everything is okay and then if every and then if everything is okay then we need to lift up the motor and check the pump. If the pump is okay or there's something with the coupling or whatsoever so I will do the winding check on the motor so let's go so visually speaking there is no sign of any abnormalities on the connection of the motor as a safety reminder, before touching anything, we need to test if the line is live or not, if you have 440 supply or not. After confirming that it is really a dead circuit, then I have decided to remove all the connections coming from our control panel side. This is to isolate the motor completely and check the winding conditions. Hello guys, so for the beginners, to explain it further, I have my own ways on how to check the winding of the motor. To check the winding of the motor, first, we will, you will find normally two orientations on the cabling inside terminal box. So, the one, one of the orientation is like this. And then, you will have the taggings which is which are u1 v1 w1 and then you will have the w2 u2 and v2 okay and then in this orientation you will find these plates like this by the way this is what we call the delta connection okay then there is another orientation which is like this which the same cable tagging which is u1 v1 w1 then you'll have the w2 u2 and v2 but you will have the plates like this and this is what you call the Y connection alright so for me every time that I will check the resist uh, the windings I normally remove the plates okay and then I'm after removing then I measure the winding by pair because this is a pair of cables, let's say U1 and U2, I will measure using the multimeter without the plates as per the cable, V1 and V2. 
and W1 and W2 which you should be getting a good continuity okay and then I measure the line to ground for each cables line to ground all right the reason for others for the experts one they are measuring the system with the plates on the what I am doing is just the same but sometimes there are impurities in between the terminals which affecting the measurements or the values that you are getting at let's have the u winding the v winding and the w winding which tag u1 u2 v1 v2 and w1 and w2 okay the orientation we will follow the same as the delta okay so you have your u1 and u2 and then you will have the plate correct at the end which is u1 u2 which is paired with v1 correct and then the end of v1 coil will be v2 which will be paired onto the w1 so let's have a plate another plate and then the v2 is paired with w1 and then at the end you will have another plate which is for u1 and u2 all right so this orientation is just like this if i will measure now the v1 and v2 let's say we have this and i will measure now the v1 and v2 i am measuring the plate in between it's the same so I'm measuring V1 and V2 but just like what I have said sometimes the terminal or whatsoever that touches plate to plate sometimes it's not the correct measurements that you are getting that's why I'm removing them to have an exact measurement so I will have measurement from this V1 to V2 which is V1 cable to V2 cables and end end to end and then you will have the w2 to w1 which is the same as plate to plate which is w1 cable and w2 and then the u1 and u2 is just the same as measuring plate to plate it's the same as if it is in y connection all right so in y connection it's the same the way how you look so you have the common plates all w2 u2 v2 connected together and then you have your y if you are measuring this and this it's just the same as u1 v1 u1 v1 and then u1 w1 and then v1 and w1 but my way is for me is what I believe is the most or more accurate one when I remove the plates and measure from end to end of the cable without the supply cables and then I will also measure each with respect to ground if it is infinity again and then the last checking that I am doing to make sure that the motor is really in good condition is that I measure winding per winding line per line so let's say u1 and v1 since they are all varnished or insulated inside then u1 and v1 should also be in infinity measurements v1 and w1 and w1 and u1 so that's the way how i check the motor 
So after taking all those measurements, I found out that the windings of the motor is, is still in good condition and it is not grounded. So I've decided to remove the power cables all the way because they are going to lift the motor and this is already the second engineer's job. They check the pump and change the coupling and until finally they replace some parts of it. And after fixing all these mechanical troubles then they ask me to put back all the cablings. Please make sure to use this shrinkable tube to insulate the gland properly. I will call him. Second, come in, Leki. Okay. We will start the pump now. Uh, yes, you, you start it. Start it and then stop another one immediately, okay? Otherwise, the, uh, the line will be pressurized, huh? We will start, then we will stop the other one. Yes, pump running, pump running. You can stop another one. Yeah, can you listen to the motor also? Yes, everything is okay. Stop another one. Yeah, we stop the other one now. Yes, pressure is okay. Yeah, also the current here are, is okay now. Yes, also the... There's no stop, but I will wait here already. Okay. Okay, okay. The pump will auto. I'll change the pump to auto when they come back. Auto. He wants to change the pump, you know. Not the remote, yeah? Both of them. Yeah. I put both of them in Yeah. <coughs> yeah. As I can see, it's steady. So it's not having a problem. Yeah. 